In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about my drone, how it got fixed, what the problem was, and some awesome drone footage. So let's go, shall we? Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So the drone is back. I have it in my hands. That weren't good. <laughs> It went all the way to the Netherlands, to DJI, and then you come back, all prim and proper. So, as you all know, I'm a stickler for instructions, following instructions. That is, that's what I'm known for, you know? I think you'd all agree. This ain't going well. <laughs> 45 minutes. You see? I've, I waited 45 seconds and that's the result. <laughs> and as you all know, I am the best drone pilot there is. There is no better drone pilot out there. I, I saw him catch his drone and I thought, oh, I can do that. Can't. Cut the top of my finger off. I can't even say all that without cracking up. It turns out that the drone had no problems whatsoever with it in the first place. I sent it off and it was perfectly fine. So what was the problem I hear you ask? Thanks for asking. Apparently now, I must have missed this when I read the instructions. Oh, no, we're kidding. I don't read no instructions. Who does? But apparently, I had messed up with the propellers. I put the wrong propellers on the wrong engines. Because DJI tested it, and then they sent a lovely email back saying, we've tested it. We've flown it for five minutes, it hovers, it flies, it responds, it lands. And there is no issue. And I was confused. I was saying they said it must be user error, it must be using the wrong propellers. Now, I thought, well, I've only used the propellers that come with it, so how have I used the wrong ones? And then I've done a bit of investigating, and I looked back at uh, Dave's video, One Man and His Whip It, because he saw me holding it like this, and when I was saying, oh, I broke it, it don't work. I'll put a clip of that now. <laughs> My drone's broken. Oh, right. Broken drone. If anybody would like a cheap drone, what's wrong with it? Inner, including a yeah. sticker. It's got a limp. That one don't work. It's, mm. so it goes, it's, it's a three-legged three -legged drone. drone. <laughs> it's a three-legged yeah. drone. It's a and you can actually see all the propellers. Now, what I found out after doing a little bit of research and actually reading the instructions, that not all these propellers are the same. Now, here I've got two different propellers. They look normal, they look the same. The only difference is, is these little white marks. So these little white marks attach to the ones with the white markings. Now, when I had that little incident um, at Camp Off Grid, when I was on my own, I landed it on a little table, it fell off. And one of the, one of the, yeah, yeah, this is it. One of the propellers got a little clip, just a little chunk out of it. So I changed two of the propellers for just any old other propellers that come with it. And they were the wrong ones. So that's why when I went to Great Northern Bushcraft Conference, when I was with uh, Pete and uh, Jimmy, me and I, I attempted to take off and show off, you know, my nice new toy. And it fell flat on his face. They wet themselves. It fell flat on his face because some of these are clockwise and some of these are anti-clockwise. Which I didn't know, but I would have if I'd have done the instruction if I'd read the instructions. Um, so yeah, basically, for the privilege of being stupid <laughs> and sending it all the way to, to the Netherlands 
and for them to tell me that no 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 it's fine and send it all the way back I uh, I had to pay 60 euros for that privilege aren't I lucky but hey lesson learned I hope someone else can learn a lesson from my stupidity make sure the white ones go on the white ones and the non-marked go on the non-marked and you'll be fine anyway enough of that let's go fly a drone shall we I have come to Ash Ridge Monument in Hertfordshire I parked up at a friend's last night because we went for a curry and I thought what better time he's got a day off I've got a day off and uh, I wanted to get my drone back out and uh, get flying again so I thought I'd bring it down to somewhere that's nice I haven't brought the motor home I'll come in the car but this place is banging let's have a look shall we Ridge Estates, 5,000 acres of woodland. That's where we are right now. Oh, that's where I am right now. Just have a little walk around. I never knew this lot was here. Never been here before. And this, it's brilliant. And I found a few park ups because we was in the car. We had a look around as well, and there's a few park ups around here that I know I can get to. And I can come back another time. There's a few places I do want to really get the drone up and uh, explore, see what we can get. But no, we'll just have a little walk around. We're walking to a bit, it's about a 20 minute walk um, to a bit that's called the canyon. So uh, let's crack on, shall we? That's got Blair Witch Project, that's got Chainsaw Massacre written all over it. <laughs> So, my it's mate lovely. just said, wouldn't it be great to come here at night? No way! You've not seen the horror movies? That is definitely got a Chainsaw Massacre in there. Definitely. I wouldn't Blair be in Witch. here. Would not be here. You would not catch me in here at night. Never. Look at that view. Ha ha ha! Bang, that beats the industrial state any day of the week, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll the drone for it, shall we? on a fallen tree in the middle of the woods. What could go wrong, eh? Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh fuck, fuck, I nearly fell then. Right, I need to get off of it because my legs are going a bit jelly. Oh shit. Oh, I can feel the vibrations. That's what she said. Shit, look at this. This is where I am, and I've got these lot laughing at me. <laughs> right, please don't, please don't fall off, please don't fall off. Although, anything for the, for the view count, eh? Hey! See, who was worried? Look at it. 